and welcome to my new video. Now we learn about the interpolation for unequal integrals. Okay, so before that, whatever the Newton Georgiou and the Lagrangian and whatever we learn, basal sterling, all are for equal interval h. Interval between the x, for example, our x points are 1, 2, 3, 4 means interval is same there. That is no need or need not to be x is equally distributed. So for in this, I will show you three types of interpolation formula. First one is Lagrange's interpolation. Second is Hermite's and third is Newton's general interpolation formula using the divided difference. So let's start with the Lagrange's. For Lagrange's interval, for unequal intervals, we have to consider a function yx which is continuous, differentiable, n plus 1 times in the interval a and b. So if yx is a function which is n plus 1 times continuous also, it is differentiable also. So it have how many variables? There are n variables. So there are n plus 1 points which we can say x0, y0, x1, y1 till x and y n where x need not to be equally placed. Means that is not necessary. That is equal interval is given. Then how to derive the formula we wish to find a polynomial of degree n then we can calculate the other value so for degree n we start with the very basic equation of a straight line how to develop first is for degree n our ln l is the lagrange's coefficient ln xi is y of xi or we can say yi which is i from 0 to n so we start from the basic if we can say first degree, we have only two points, there is a straight line x0, y0, x1, y1. Then the, our equation of line, straight line, we can say L1, x is given by x minus x1 upon x0 minus x1, y0 plus x minus x0, x1 minus x0, y1. Correct? You know this equation, this is the very basic equation with two points. So x is the point where we have to find this is the polynomial of first degree in terms of x. Next we have to move further if we have three points x0, x1 and x2, y2. Then L2x, L2x is how to given by very easy x we have to use x0 for so x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 so above no x0 is there x minus x1 x minus x2 and x y0 plus next term for x1 so x1 minus x0 and x1 minus x2 x minus x0, x minus x2, y1. Plus my last calculation, x minus x0, x minus x1 upon x2 minus x0, x2 minus x1, y2. So this is gives with the three points second order of our second variable of Lagrange. Similarly, we can use with three, four, five. So what is our generalized? If we, you go for the general formula, we have to say i is going from 0 to n l i x upon x minus x i l dash of x. L dash i means the first order derivative of this into y i. So when I put 0, 2 points, 3 points, 4 points. So generalize how many? Where is L i x? At the i point if we can write at i point x minus x 0, x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x minus i minus 1, x minus i plus 1 till x n. x minus x i cannot come because 
it we have to derive at i point then xi minus x0 xi minus x1 till xi minus xn and what is the derivative that is d by dx of this we know these all are constant so only with respect to this we have to find the first order derivative so this is the general lagrange's interpolation formula let's see how it's work with an example so i will show you one example so we will easily understand how we will use this formula for finding the values now we have to see one example so how to deduce a formula and use of this so we can see with one example how to use this formula so there is one example determined by the lagrange's method the percentage of number of patient over 40 years using by following table and the their table is given data is our x is over years is 30 over 30 35 45 and sorry this is 50 and the percentage number y of the patient so percentage number is y and the is over is our data x so y is regarding percentage of over the patient is 148 96 68 and 34 so first we have to see our lagrange's formula summation i wrong from 0 to n li x x minus x l dash y when we can when construct this our formula given by it's very easy how many variable you can write in very simple way first x0 x1 x2 x3 respectively y0 y1 y2 y3 so we start with x0 going till end point so x minus because we have to substitute here y0 and denominator become x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 x0 minus x3 so numerator no x0 term so x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 and put y similarly when we calculate for this y1 x1 gives in the denominator x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 and here y1 the numerator gives no x minus x1 only x minus x0 x minus x2 x minus x3 y1 similarly this process is rotating for x2 and y2 no x minus x2 term x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x3 upon x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 x2 minus x3 y2 for last point our is x3 so x3 is in the denominator respectively y3 so x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 x3 minus x0 in the denominator x3 minus x1 x3 minus x2 and y3 so this is our formula now next step is very easy you have to substitute all the values so what is our x x we have to find calculate the patient over 40 years so over 40 year means somewhere here so our x is 40 x0 is 30 x1 35 45 40 substitute all the values means y is equal to x minus x1 means 40 minus 30 40 minus 30 sorry x minus x1 because there is no x0 so 40 minus 35 40 minus 45 40 minus 50 upon x0 is my 30 so 30 minus 35 30 minus 45 30 minus 50 into y0 y0 is 148 this similarly we have to substitute in second term third term and fourth term when you substitute in each and all terms and calculate simplify it you will get y at 40 is 74.7 so at y answer is 74.7 so this is the use how to apply 
and construct the Lagrange's formula and solve a more example on Lagrange's uh, interpolation formula. Here we deduce the polynomial. So that is similar like my previous example but maybe it will more helpful for you. So find the Lagrange's interpolating polynomial of degree 2. Approximate for y is equal to Lx. Our function is given by log of x. Define, define by given table and hence at the end find log value at 2.7. Where given table is x equal to 2.53. Respectively y is given by this. So our x0 is 2, x1 is 2.5, x2 is 3. y0, y1 and y2. First, you have to write the formula with using these. So, there are only 3 x0, x1, x2. So, it gives 2 degree polynomial because only 3 points. With 2 points, at initially I will show you a straight line x0, x1 and x1, y1. We give 1 degree polynomial that is called equation of straight line. Then 2 degree, 3 degree, 4 degree. For 2 degree polynomial, we have 3 points. So, we write the formula, substitute the respective value. Here, for finding the polynomial, we put x as it is x. So, we can find an expression in degree 2 of x is called polynomial regarding x. So, x minus x1 is 2.5, x minus x2 upon x. 0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, this is y0 and so on. Calculate it, simplify it. It's very simple. See, x minus 2.5, x minus 3. When you multiply and then you will get this. Denominator becomes 0 0.5 and because this is minus 0 0.5, this is become 1. So, 0 0.5 is 1 by 2. Minus minus plus 1 by 2. 2 goes up. Multiply our term will be 2x square minus 11x plus 15 times y0. Similarly, this for y1 aspect. This is for y2. Then when more simplify, summarize the term of x square, x and the constant value. Our polynomial for given interpolating function is this. Next is if we have to find out log 2.7 then x is 2.7 substitute x is here x is square 2.7 square 2.7 and calculate it. So value at 2.7 is given by 0 0.9941164 which is if we compare with the accurate value. So accurate value is 0 0.9932. 518. See, this is our value, this is the accurate value. So, error is 0 0.0008646, means 0 0.000. So, error is very less. So, we can use to calculate this exponential function, logarithmic function, sine cosine function, and many more. Thank you very much.